Hi Gang Scott here. This video is part of a mini series on blending modes in On One software. This video looks at the Lighten blending mode. Uh, this mode, as its name suggests, looks for brighter pixels and it is most useful in layered workflows. That's where I use Lighten. And cityscape photography is my favorite use case for the light and blending mode. Now, if you haven't checked out the other videos in the series, check the show notes. There's a playlist that's being uh, assembled as the videos are uh, being uh, rolled out here. And if you're watching this uh, in the in the future, which means now it's uh, these videos were done in the past, you can get the whole series that's right there. Uh, also, if you are adding on one to your toolkit, thinking about any of the professional plugins or Photo Raw, check the show notes. There's an offer code down there can save you a little bit of money, gives me a little bit of support, lets me do videos like this. So let's have a look at the light and blending mode in action. I am in Photo Raw and I have two images here, same building taken roughly at the same time, but the lighting on the these you know, reflective windows is a little bit different. There's you know more things going on in you know in, in this area here, you know kind of down in here compared to the two photos. And the light and blending mode is excellent for cityscapes like this because you can have it quickly find and uh, like magically produce more light in your cityscape. So these these times of day photos where you had that that nice twilight, a good mix of ambient and artificial light, think about taking a few photos when you're in the field and the light and blending mode to bring them together. So I've got these two images here. I'm in Photo Raw, so I'm in Browse, and I'll bring them into Layers and Edit. If you're using On One Effects as a plugin, you can select multiple photos like in Lightroom and then send them over to Effects as layers. You can do the same thing I'm about to show you now. So I've got the two layers loaded here, and we can see if I turn off the top layer, I uh, have you know the pixels that are beneath in the bottom layer shown. And for the most part, this actually looks pretty good. I mean, I'm getting this nice pop here, but I want to pay attention to this area here. And let's move this right up toward where our filter stack is. And let's look at some of these squiggles here. We've got this thing here, this thing here. These are on our top layer. I turn that off. You notice they went away. And instead, now I have some of these red streaks going on. If I turn my top layer back on, well, those disappeared and I got the pixels from my top layer. So while it looked like just lights were coming on and off, what the layer stack is doing is saying, I have my top layer, it's at 100%, and I'm looking at every pixel there, and I see nothing beneath it. When we change to the lighten blending mode, it says, show me on my top layer all the pixels that are brighter than what's beneath it and nothing else. And so let's now change this to lighten notice these appeared and these did not go away right before and after I got all these new accents of brightness without losing things that were on my bottom layer and when we look at that on the grand scale we get this wonderful pop of all of the different little artificial lights that are coming up around that time of day when dusk is setting in so this is fantastic for your cityscape work. You get those photos where you have a good mix of ambient and artificial light. Keep your tripod planted and you can wait 10, 20, 30 minutes sometimes for the artificial lights to come up in the city, capture another photo, come into a layering program like on one and change that top layer to lighten and you get this wonderful pop of all your artificial lights. So that's by far my favorite use for light and blending modes to just do a little accent lighting for cityscapes and architecture. Let's look at another example with textures. Textures uh, tend to lend themselves to all sorts of different blending modes. And sometimes it just depends on the ones you are interested in blending. You try things out. And so light and blending mode is certainly one we can use with textures. Uh, for this photo, let's add a texture. I prefer to do my texture blending in layers as opposed to the texture filter. Get a little more control over positioning if I need to change uh, stretch a layer or position it differently. But let's try the light and blending mode. We can see that what's happening here is only the lighter parts of the texture 
compared to the photo below, right? So the dark shadow areas, those are getting all of the texture when we turn it on because the texture is brighter. It is lighter than those shadow areas. And now we have, you know, our continued controls here. We, we can we can adjust the opacity. And what this is kind of doing is ending up giving us, you know, kind of a pop in the, the textures in the shadow areas, right? You know, we get that shadowy stuff. And of course we have all of the masking abilities like we have with any filter or layer. So once you've played around with your texture blending, we're kind of getting off of the, the blending option part of it, which really changed the dynamic of how this texture was blending in. You know, here was normal, and this is an opacity. Let's put our opacity back up. Normal is just show me everything. We could kind of lower the look of the, the, the texture itself, but it's the blending option that really changes the dynamic saying, I want that texture, that layer to interact differently with what's below it. And in the case of Lighten, finding the brighter things. And so what happens again, those dark shadows that are in our photo, that's what gets more of the texture. And you know, from here, of course, you have the ability to do masking. If you don't want that texture to be on certain things, reach for your masking tools and start to work with them. Yeah, but that's a separate topic from the blending modes. Uh, I've got a whole different series on masking. And if you haven't checked that out, go check it out. You'll, you'll understand masking top to bottom and on one at the end of that series. But that's the lighten blending option in Photo Raw, in On One Effects. It has a great use case for cityscapes and anytime you have ambient lighting, like we're right around the holidays, you got Christmas trees with blinking lights, you want them all on, take a few photos, lighten blending mode, you'll have it good to go. And it's also good for textures, especially when you're thinking of targeting your shadowy areas of a photo with a textured look and feel, use the lighten blending mode. Hope you found the videos useful. And if you got questions, go ahead and drop them below. Until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.